Long ago, two races ruled over Horror. Humans and monsters. One day, they all disappeared without a trace. Well, very well, welcome back to Let's Play Flowey Tail, I should say? Because you can see it, but the window name actually changed to Flowey Tail, now it's no more Undertale. Flowey took the souls, and for some reason, our save file is gone. So now we have Flowey level 999. 999 time, playtime, my word. Uh, we cannot move to the restart option, we can only choose continue. Can I choose continue? I can't choose the restart. <laughs> it turns back to continue anyway. Oh, and now the window's name actually deleted itself. There, there is no more window name. So it's not Undertale. This is not Undertale. This isn't Flowey Tale. This is nothing. This is this isn't even a game. So we can move around. There's no, there's nothing. There is nothing. There's nothing we can do. We can go up. There seems to be a save point in here. We can go up. There's nothing for this. It's all black. We have to go to the save point. Let's press that. that. Fire raised. Howdy. It's me, Flowey. Flowey the Flower. How are you? I owe you a huge thanks. You really the number of that old fool. Without you, I never could have gotten past him. But now, with your help, he is dead. And I've got the human souls. Boy, I've been empty for so long. It feels great to have a soul inside me again. Hmm, I can feel them wriggling. Oh, you're feeling left out, aren't you? Well, that's just perfect. After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more. Before I become God. And then, with my newfound powers. Monsters. Humans. Everyone. I'll show them all the real meaning of this world. Oh, I forget about escaping through your old save file. It's gone forever. But don't worry, your old friend Flowey has worked a replacement for you. I'll save over your own death, so you can watch me tear you to bloody pieces, over and over and over. What? The? Do you really think you can stop me? <laughs> you really are an idiot. Now, this is a boss fight against Flowey. What is funny is this boss I'm gonna do it right now, that you die during this fight. There's something really fun that's gonna happen. Okay. You can fight with You're gonna do all one on damage. If you die, something really good is really fun is gonna happen. I'm gonna shoot that once. This is all just a bad dream. And you are never waking up. And there the game crashes, but I'm gonna boot it up really quickly again. Let's see, Undertale. This is really fun to see that it's like it's a game over screen that you don't get usually. So that's a little bonus thing. You might just miss this. If you know, if you don't know that there is a bonus game over screen there, well now you know it. <laughs> Did you really think I was gonna be satisfied killing you only one time? Now the item will change if you die two, three, four, five, six. I don't know how many times the game actually keeps counting and changing dialogue at the beginning. 
I hope I won't die again. I know how to deal with this guy. I know how to defeat Flowey. It's not that hard as you think it is. You, got, you, you have to get used to it. It's not a bad fight, after all. So what you need to do, well, he has a lot of attacks. Well, this one is trying to stay low. You kind of have a lot of health, though. This one is screaming. Low screaming to one side. Again, this is the same thing. Flowey well, is able to use safe state. Confound you. But this one sucks. This palace one sucks, by the way. I don't know how to deal with that. This one again. Okay, this is plain dodging. Okay, whenever you see this warning message up there, you reach the checkpoint. So don't worry about dying now. You enter as kind of a mini game of dodging, you have the whole screen to move around, so don't worry. You need to reach the act function the active function here and press Z. You call it for help. The light blue shows up there, ouch. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, gimme, gimme out! Yay! Okay, I think now he's too deep. His attack sucks. I don't know how to dodge it. I just try to go up. Lowry is able to use safe space again. He will, he will start using those. So, right? His attack of the sh is not that bad. The bombs are bad. Stay up here to try to dodge them. Fuck, dodge those balls. You'll see safe states in action in a few checkpoints or so. Okay, this one's not that bad. You just have to go inside the circle, and outside the circle, and inside another circle. You just wait for the act option to appear, then you just stay here where there's the missing end. You grab as many of these as you can. You need health. You need as much health as you can get here. Same to the side. See? I'm always using saves. If I too save, if I too loaded, if I too save, whenever you see the save thing, just keep doing whatever you're going to do, you were doing. So for example, if I was going left, and I see the save thing, whatever thing happens after the attack is saved on, keep doing whatever you were doing, because Flowey will reload that file to confirm you. Isn't that bad? Okay, act. Okay, go most of my health back. If someone did actually do this without getting damaged, it's really great. Props to everyone who did that, because really, that should be a really awful challenge. Getting this no hit. Ouch. The bombs. The flies ain't that bad. Okay. Let's do this one. Okay, this one is a pretty <laughs> stupid one. It's simple. No. Unless you get trapped between waters. No, the axe is gonna come here. Mercy! Create! Create! Can I call? Yes! I got some health there. Dreaming. Oh, two save. Oh, come on! Oh, two save. He doesn't always load the save, but when he does, well, let's see. It's easy. Oh, two save. Oh, two load it. Yeah. Just keep doing what you were doing. You'll be fine. I actually got this boss fight the first time I played Undertale, I got this on the first try, so it's not that bad, it's a nice aim. It's actually really hard to die. It's really hard to get in no hit, but... Okay, fucking patrol these flames? Keep going for health. You get a lot of health of these, if you're good. Streaming. Playing dodging, we can dodge. Flies are not bad. Like that. Some damage over there, okay. I hate this, how do you fucking dodge those things? Okay, this is bad. You have to dodge from both sides, which is bad. I always get it a few times there. 
We seem every attack of Flowey now. Okay, is this the last minigame? Oh, wait. seen the act box. Ah, there you go. Fucking act. You throw me. Throw me! Okay. Grab health? You need health. You need full health for the next part. Which is the hardest part of the fight? Now the souls are free again. There are no more in Flowey's body. Flowey's defense dropped to zero! Let's keep reading and dodging. Stay up here where I am. Near here. Where's the fight options? Attack him. He has a lot of health. And these attacks will become harder and harder as you progress through. So as you damage him, he will, he will start doing more intense attacks. Careful! Grab any all the pieces of health that they drop from time to time. Take them. This is what this saves you from them. False name. Don't look at the um, yeah, suggesting no suggestions, don't look at the life bottle. Just stay down here and mash that. Oh yeah. Okay, fast enough. Just grab that, that fucking elf, grab it, trust me. Well, we can no more use safe states in here, too, so... Don't worry about that. Got this? No, of course not. I have to get the here. What those balls really? Get out of the way, this is becoming really hard. Don't do that. Trust me, they are. Get the elf, even if you're going to get damage in the cross, of course, mate. It's worth to get the elf. Come on, I'm just taking so much damage. There he goes! Yes! It's not hard, but. I have. I have to admit I died once at this thing. No. No! This can't be happening! You! You! How's well, that how it is, huh? You idiot. <laughs> you really think you could defeat me? I am the god of this world. And you? You're hopeless. Hopeless and alone. Golem. That's right. Your worthless friends can save you now. Call for help. I dare you. Cry into the darkness. Mommy, daddy, somebody help. See what good it does you. How about now? Ah, oh, fuck, you forced me to. Okay, well. You called for help. But nobody came. Boy. What a shame. Nobody else is gonna get to see you die. Here, Flowey, think again. What? How do you... Well, I'll just... What? Where are my powers? The souls? What are they doing? No! No! You can't do that! You are supposed to obey me! Stop! Stop it! Stop! And now again you can choose between fight or mercy. And trust me. 
even though I really want to fucking kill Flowey because it, in my in, like I hate Flowey. I don't know about you guys, but I hate Flowey. Like, I'm serious, like because like from the beginning you start hating already because it trolls you within the tutorial, and then there are other reasons why I hate Flowey. Like, I'm not gonna say it because it would be kind of spoilers. And even the first time when I go here and I was like, finally he can kill you. I just had to go mercy. What are you doing? Do you really think you've learned anything from this? No. Oh, by the way, you can still fight and being on the pacifist route. But in, you can still do the pacifist route if you kill him, but something is not gonna happen. No, not a problem. I just want mercy. I just want to have mercy on him. I will get a little bit of extra dial. Sparing me won't change anything. Killing me is the only way to end this. No. I believe that's not true. If you let me leave, I'll come back. I'll kill you. I'll kill everyone. I'll kill everyone you love. Why? Why are you being so nice to me? Fucking... I can't understand. I can't understand. You suffered of the power of my mercy. I just can't understand. Chloe ran away. That's it. That's the exit. We're going to exit. We're going to exit the world of monsters. That's it. Beyond, beyond that door lies the world of humans again. Let's go. Undertale by Toby Fox. Near the credits, well, Tammy Chang did a lot of things. Well, a lot of people worked in this game, except uh, other than Toby Fox. There was some Kenju, Marigo, Manuela Porter, let's see, GGDZ, Draw, Droke, Clairvoir, his name. I'm not gonna read that all that I can't. Even Dread, Flesh Goodness, Leonard, Not, Mike Ride, Raider, I don't know. Some stuff over the years. Stephanie making through guitar. Well, there's a lot of people, as you can see, worked in this game, not only Toby Fox. Anyway. Hey, uh, is anyone there? Well, just going to say, you made us know we're really happy. Guess I should say something else, too. So, it's been a while. The Queen returned and is now ruling over the underground. She sends state to the new policy. All the humans who fall here will be traitors, not as enemies, but as friends. It's probably for the best, anyway. The human souls the king got there. Seems to have disappeared. So, uh, the plan ain't happening anytime soon. But even though people are heartbroken over the king, and things are looking grim for our freedom, the queen's trying her best not to let us give up hope. Give up hope. So, uh, hey, if we're not giving up down here, don't give up wherever you are, okay? Who knows how long it will take. We will get out, we'll get out of here. Sans, who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Here, knock yourself out. Wait a second, I recognize this number. I thank Shin, human. Hi, the Great Papyrus. I am now captain of the Royal Guard. It's everything I've ever dreamed of. Except, instead of fighting, we just water flowers. So that's ever so slightly different. And, we're helping Dr. Alvis with our research. She's gonna find a way to get us, to get us out of here. And Dine is helping her too. So, to be honest, her metal developing seems kind of explosion inducing. And I think Alvis likes having air around. Uh oh. Hey! Where are you up to, punk? Nah! Please, don't knock you the phone! Hey, who's in charge here? Me. Oh, yeah, that's right. I quit my job as the leader of the Royal Guard. 
Actually, since we won't be fighting anymore, the Royal Guard totally disbanded. There's, uh, only one member now. But he's extremely good. Yeah, he is. Come here. Please don't knock you the skeleton. Anyways, now I'm working as Alvis lab assistant. We're gonna find a way out of this dump once and for all. Oh, yeah. And I'm the gym teacher at the Queen's New School. Did you know I can bench for seven children? Awesome, right? Hey, I'm sorry about what happened with Asgore. You were just doing what you had to. It's not your fault, he. Ah, darn it. I missed the big guy. Come on, I'm dying. Snap out of it. Uh, I guess I'll tell you all this is normal. Well, she's the same as ever. Maybe a little more reclusive than normal. Seems like something's really bothering her. But she can get through it. I'm there supporting her. That's what friends are for, right? Hey, wherever you are, I hope it's better than here. It took a lot of sacrifice for you to get there. So, wherever you are, you have to try to be happy, okay? For our sakes. We'll be we'll feel better knowing your trouble was worth. We're all with you. Everyone is. Even the Queen. Hey! Wait a second! Toriel! Toriel! Do you wanna... Huh. She says she's busy. But if she knew who we were talking to, we will get the phone back for at least a few hours. We have the mercy to spare you from her. But call back any time, okay? She'd love to talk. Oh, oops. This thing is almost out of batteries. So, hate to cut the short, but... Be seeing you, okay, buddy? Bye bye for now. See ya, punk. Why? Why did you let me go? Don't you realize that being nice just makes you get hard? Look at yourself. You made all these great friends these great friends. But now you'll probably never see them again. Not to mention how much they've been set back by you. Hard, doesn't it? If you had just gone through without caring about anyone, you wouldn't have to feel bad now. So I don't get it. If you really did everything the right way, why did things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? Say, what if I told you I knew some way to get you a better ending? You'll have to load your safe island. Well, in the meantime, why did you go see Dr. Althus? It seems like you could have been better friends. Who knows? Maybe she's got the key to your happiness? See you soon.